What's new in Premiere Pro CC 2019? Today in this Premiere Pro CC 2019 tutorial, we are going to learn new features of Essential Graphics Panel, the new release of Premiere Pro CC 2019 version 13.1. In this release of Premiere Pro has multiple graphics and tax enhancement. So let's get started. Before starting this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel Digital Creations and if you already subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss my new latest uploads. So let's get started. I'm going to create a tax layer so i'm just going to select the tax tool in the toolbar and uh, create a, a tax layer i'm just going to write uh, digital creations my channel name guys you see I'm just going to increase the uh, tag size a little bit and uh, just align yeah it's better and align and transform uh, this uh, align to center mm, and I'm going to change the font a little bit uh, bold that's okay and after this uh, here you see in the essential graphics panel downside there is a option of uh, uh, a stroke you see here just uh, I just select this stroke option and uh, we can now add uh, multiple strokes up to 10 strokes in uh, our tax uh, it may be a shape layer or tax uh, in the essential graphics panel I'm just going to change the color of the tax uh, we can increase uh, the tax uh, stroke size you see the range icon is available so I just click here and you see the different stroke styles available in the essential graphics panel in this Premiere Pro uh, new release uh, you can see the different stroke styles which include uh, different settings there uh, for join and caps so you can create a different stroke styles and it, it, it will be a round join or bevel join or meter join so you just create a very attractive uh, tax in this uh, new release of essential graphics panel Essential Graphics Panel Premiere Pro CC 2019 new release of Premiere Pro version 13.1 we can add a tax layer which uh, comes with its own background so we can add it and uh, the, we can add the opacity and the size of the background uh, and it which is available in the edit tab of Essential Graphics Panel so you, you check here and uh, it is very easily create no need to uh, select uh, a rectangle tool in the toolbar uh, so we can create text layer uh, in this uh, very easily with background property and we can animate them also
And now guys, we can use rulers and guides in our program monitor uh, to uh, organize or set the layout of the graphics and tags uh, and clips in Premiere Pro CC 2019. And uh, it has a, a, week, a very improved a snap uh, a snap feature a snap to guide uh, feature so we just going to select it uh, we can just right click here and uh, select uh, program monitor and uh, just right click here and select the safe margin option and uh, here is is the wrench icon here um, we just going to select the use uh, rulers and guide options here uh, guys you see here show rulers show guide option and another is snap in program monitor option there so we just going to enable the, these options Here is a new view menu option there in Premiere Pro where we you see the play uh, playback resolution post resolution all the magnification and display mode and we can customize uh, the control strip show rulers show guide and, uh, guide templates so I just select the gu guide templates and save the guide uh, to use in further uh, in my uh, project so I've just saved this guide template Another new feature of uh, Premiere Pro CC 2019 Essential Graphics Panel. Uh, so we can uh, convert tags or shape layers into mask. And the downside you see in the Essential Graphics Panel, there is a downside mask with tags option there. So we can uh, convert our tags or shape layers into mask in the Essential Graphics Panel, which is uh, we can create uh, the effects and I'm just going to uh, write a text here and uh, here upside you see I'm just select this option and uh, the new layer and I'm just going to select a file and uh, I'm just uh, import a, a video file and uh, just slightly drag this option uh, the slightly drag this uh, layer downside uh, we are just going to create mask the text layer
another new feature of Premiere Pro CC 2019 is replace font in our project so we can uh, replace all fonts in our project by using uh, graphic uh, just go to graphic and downside here is the option replace font in project select this and we can select any font and replace it in our project very easily Free from view in the project panel. Uh, here in the downside of the project panel, a new feature of free from view you see here. Uh, we can use uh, free from view to organize our clips or our media in our project. So we can arrange the footage uh, and uh, we can use uh, like a storyboarding and uh, different tasks uh, depend on our project. So uh, we just preview the this uh, thumbnails here and there are lots of options there. So uh, we can just assemble our rough cuts here and drag them into our timeline for editing. And it, it is a great feature and there are lots of options there. So we can uh, check uh, working with a freeform view and uh, it is very easy to organize our clips and uh, this, uh, we can align uh, selected clips into different grid and we can snap the edges of a clip to another and we can adjust the size of the clip and we can change uh, you see the hover script the clips here uh, we ju just enlarge the size of the clip uh, right click uh, right click here and change the clip size and here we select uh, extra large different options there so guys it is uh, very easy and we can save uh, this our layout uh, save as a new layout to uh, use further in our project so we just enter the name of the layout and hit ok
now guys that's all about the new release of Premiere Pro CC 2019 version 13.1 uh, some features of uh, Premiere Pro CC 2019 I hope you like the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel digital creations thanks for watching